Okay, we've got this angle PQT, which these are actually rays here. And that angle is bisected by ray QS, which means cut into two equal parts. You're told that the measure of angle SQT, that's this one right here, has an expression 8x minus 25 representing its measure. And angle PQT, which is the big one, uh, is represented by 9x plus 34. And so what's true is that the big angle is twice the small angle because an angle bisector cuts the angle into two equal parts. So this is the equation that you want to solve right here. The measure of the big angle equals two of the smaller angles that are bisected by ray QS. And if you solve that equation for X, you get X equals 12. So that means that this angle right here, SQT, is 8 times 12 minus 25, which is 96 minus 25, which is 71. And so if this is 71 degrees, so is this angle. And so it better be the case if we put 12 in here for X, that we get 142. And we do. 9 times 12 is 108. 108 plus 34 is 142. Now, this problem also mentions angle SQR. Uh, we didn't have a diagram showing us where R is located, but we told that the measure of angle SQR is 112. So I could maybe put ray QR down here. And that means angle SQR is 141, I'm sorry, is 112. So this angle right here, if that's what you're asked for, is uh, 112 minus 71. Or looks like 51. Okay. And you could have also put angle array QR over here. But you'd get the same answer because you'd have 71 plus 51, whoops, 51, gives you the angle, measure of angle SQR, 71 plus 51, 112. Uh, whoops, no, I didn't do that right. 112 minus 71 is 41. 41. Uh, here you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.